Hello, and welcome to the Building with AppSheet series, where I discuss and demonstrate how to build applications with AppSheet and Google technologies. I'm Christian Schalk, a Google Developer Advocate, and in this episode, we'll introduce AppSheet Automation. What is AppSheet Automation? AppSheet's new automation capability allows you to configure a bot that binds events to automated processes that perform a variety of business tasks. For example, from the task tracking app from my earlier videos, we could configure a bot to 1. React to the event of updating a task's due date, and then 2. Trigger a process that both changes the task status to in progress, as well as sends an email to the task owner notifying them of this change. This is of course a simple example, but before continuing, let's walk through AppSheet Automation's different components and terminology. The key components of an AppSheet automation include a bot, which allows you to create or orchestrate automated workflows by combining events with processes, an event itself, which is triggered whenever data is changed or when it is specifically scheduled, the process, which is the overall business process that a bot orchestrates and includes all of the steps and tasks associated with it, and the step, which is an individual step in a process that executes business tasks. And finally, Tasks carry out specific actions defined in the process, such as updating a value, sending an email or a notification, or branching on a logical condition. Let's dig further into tasks. The different types of tasks include notifications such as SMS, email, mobile, a data change such as adding, deleting, or updating rows, a webhook, which is a standard way to call third-party REST services, and file creation, which allows the process to generate a template-based Google Doc. To better understand how to create automations though, let's walk through a simple example. So for our demo, we return to the familiar task tracking application. And if you recall, we have two tables, tasks and owners. And then in this simplified version, I just have two views, one's for task and then one for its owners. And so now we're gonna go ahead and click on the new automation option here on the menu. And just to kind of describe the process that I'm going to create, it's going to have an event that's going to be triggered whenever the task's due date is changed. And then I want to have a simple task to update one of the columns, which is to say update the task to just say in progress. And then I want to introduce a branch condition to check the priority. And I'm going to check to see if it's a high priority task. And I'm going to do a special operation for high priority tasks only. And then for everything else, I'm going to do something else. All right. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a new bot. And you'll notice as I'm creating the new bot, it has actually a lot of suggestions here. And these are actually complete bots that will be complete once I select it. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and select the option here to create a custom bot. All right, and now I just have to choose an event. And again, these suggestions are based off of usage pattern that I've already done before. And so in this case, I have this tasks due date is changed. And then you can see on the right, it has a particular condition which just checks to see if the due date has actually changed. And then now I just have to define the process by adding a series of steps to it. So let's click add a step. In this case, I want to go ahead and just update the data. I want to change the status to say in progress. Now I'm going to introduce a branch condition. So I click that and I happen to have this check if priority is less than two. So that's essentially a branch on a condition type and it's using that expression. And so if the answer is no, meaning that's low priority, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other step here where I'm going to send essentially an email to the owner. And if I look over here, I'm not really gonna customize anything. I'm just gonna use the default content. So it's gonna generate an automated subject and email body. Now for the other condition where it is yes, meaning it's high priority or priority one, I'm gonna do kind of the same operation, but I'm going to customize it further. So instead of just sending a generic email to the owner, I'm going to update the step name here. I'm going to say high priority. So I'm going to essentially send a high priority email to the uh, task owner. And then here, instead of using the default content, I'm going to update that to be something else. I'm going to actually add the email content directly. So to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste what I have in my buffer, which in this case, I happen to have uh, a bit of text there that kind of gets their attention, meaning that they have a high priority task. And there we go. So now I have an updated email subject and email body. 
which basically hopefully gets their attention and it will also then fill that into the body, All right? So I click save. And now we're just going to test it by updating a task's due date. So I open up the uh, preview window and I'll just scroll down and I'll select only my tasks. And let's first update this particular task, which is a low priority, priority four. And we'll change the due date. And I'll just grab any date here and I'll click save. And then we're going to be watching the status column here. So when this switches to in progress, we will know that it was updated. And there we go. Now it says in progress. So let's check our email and we should see, yep, there it is a very generic email that just gives us the values of the actual task itself, right? So pretty straightforward. So now let's go back and let's update a high priority task, which happens to be this complete budget proposal task. I open that up in the editor and let's just grab a new date and I click save. And as before, we'll wait for the status to update. And there we go. It says in progress. So let's go back to our email. Do a refresh and there we go. We see our high priority email has now been sent. So it's essentially done the, a different operation. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward with just a few simple steps. I was able to create a uh, relatively sophisticated bot that has this event and has a couple of steps and has a branch condition and it has some customized tasks uh, in order for this uh, whole process to run. This concludes the AppSheet Automations introduction episode. Stay tuned for more coverage of this important capability in future episodes. And for more info on AppSheet, Google Cloud, and Google Workspace, check out the links in the description below. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this series so you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching.